Welcome back my slayers, hey Blasty here with the third tutorial for Jedi Fallen Order and as promised, we're slaying Trilla today. Before I start this guide, I'm gonna be blunt and say that Trilla is not the hardest boss of the game. You might think I'm crazy, but I actually put Trilla slightly above Octobogdo in terms of difficulty for various reasons. Unlike the Octo fight, the area you fight in Trilla is pretty big. Her attacks have very little tracking and each attack doesn't move Trilla forward towards the player except for like one in particular. It looks like she's shadow boxing in a sense. The reason players have a tough time with Trilla is because they bring the fight to her instead of letting her bring the fight to them. And this is welcome. I have no problem with that. You want to be aggressive? Go ham. That's why we play this game after all. But for those who want to have an easier time with Trilla and beat her convincingly, I will show you how. The skills we're gonna need for Trilla are Sprint Strike, and that's about it. Any other skills are cherry on the top for this fight. Lightsaber Mastery is for finishing the fight sooner, though its impact is not as significant as it is for the Maliko fight where the extra damage is accounted for. Delayed Thrust can be an option if you're feeling cheeky, but not needed. Anyways, this is how you would go on about using it. Pretty cool, huh? Now before we talk about her moves, I want to talk shortly about how she approaches you when you're positioned far. Bosses in general have ways to close the gap with players when they are at a distance. For example, Ogdo has an unblockable dash and a grab. The Ninth Sister uses her force pull, and Malikos, well, he, he just walks towards you. That's about it. The way Trilla closes the gap is by doing empty dashes. Whenever you see Trilla randomly dashing towards you, 100% of the time it will be an empty dash. If it's a random dash with no animation prior to it. Now on to the moves. For the sake of this video, I will abbreviate behind the backspin to BTBS. Okay, so those empty dashes come with a follow-up. Let's name them. The follow-ups can be two lights into a BTBS into an unblockable thrust, two lights into a BTBS into a long spin attack, two lights into an unblockable grab, one light into three two-handed helicopter spins. Now these that I mentioned, she can also do it by just running up to you instead of an empty dash. It is just solely dependent on how far you are from her. When empty dash is out of the way, the rest of the moves are lightsaber throw in which she can follow up with yet another empty dash, then we're flowered to an empty dash to a front flip attack into a lightsaber throw, shockwave attack, summon a droid, unblockable grab, unblockable dash attack, Dash attack to an unblockable jump attack into a double aerial into a slam. Or she can also go for a short spin attack instead of the double aerial into a slam. Before we get into the details, I want you to slay that sub button and like the video if you enjoy it so far. By supporting this channel, it helps me reach out to other people trying to find these tutorials, so it's greatly appreciated. Believe it or not, the strat for Trilla is the same as the first method of my previous tutorial, which is kite her attacks and then punish. The difference here is that she will approach you instead, so you will need to dodge or roll before kiting her attacks. Trilla can be overwhelming when you fight her for the first time, but once you understand how she works, she becomes a bit trivial, so allow me to enlighten you a bit. Most of Trilla's approaches is going to be empty dashes, so when she does that, just roll backwards. Kite, and then you can double punish. She doesn't have that much reach, so you can stay relatively close to her and you'll be fine. When the dash is not empty, meaning it will not be a random dash and it will show an animation before she does it, the answer is the same, roll back and attack when you see the opportunity. Her unblockable thrust doesn't have any tracking, so you can just sidestep it and then double punish for free. The best option for a long spin attack that she does is to roll towards her. I've tried other options and this one has been the most consistent in not getting hit by it. You can also give it a lot of space when you see it coming and go in with a sprint strike to punish it. For the dash attack that contains two unblockables in the combo, you can just roll the dash attack, kite the rest and go in with a sprint strike after she's done. Double jump the shockwave, roll the lightsaber throw, either hack or kill the droid. I prefer to be at a distance from Trilla when she spawns the droid, so I have more time to react and make good decisions. Roll the unblockable grab and punish if possible, roll the unblockable dash attack and punish as well. Now I left this attack for last because you can do something cheeky with it, which makes it my favorite move to counter out of Trilla's moves, and the attack is the downward flower combo. You will see the downward flower flourish before she dashes towards you. Don't react to the dash, just wait and roll the front flip attack. After that you can give her space so the lightsaber throw doesn't hit you. 
Or you can interrupt the lightsaber by parrying it or hitting her with a sprint strike. Now for all you cheeky slayers, you can also do this. And for you cheesy slayers, here's how you take more than 50% off her health bar in one sitting. If there's any other attack that I left out, I'm 100% sure that the answer to it is just roll out and punish when it's done. Anyways, this will be it for this video. Make sure to slay the sub button and like the video if you found it useful. I will see you all in the next video. Keep on slaying.